Remember, like, the other day when we were looking up the one thing and I'm yeah, like... Yeah, and you I, remember that one line? We thought we got access to my Gmail from a long time it, ago. It was 15 years ago because you oh, changed it when I changed it when, it when I got married. Yeah, and he, like, remembered exact sentences. When it comes to, like, dudes, you know, taking a run at the love of your life, like, steel trap, dude. I think you would be hard-pressed to have any guy with any girl for the amount of time that we've been together with essentially unfettered access into the communications between them and two of their exes so consistently that they are unaware that you're reading and see there's nothing there. Like, cause they would have, I mean, bottom line, because, because I, the reason I know for sure that she didn't know I was reading is because she would have deleted the shit that the fuck had said to her. You know what I mean? Like, cause she's smart enough to know, cause she shuts it down, but she's smart enough to know, like, if I read what he said, I'm yeah. going to be fucking pissed. And she didn't delete it, which means she doesn't know I'm looking at it, you know? Yeah, I guess. I'll still fuck that clown up. Which one? Not, not the one with the boob. Not the one with <laughs> the other the one? I mean, not really. It's not worth your time. Not really. Oh, God. But now I'm just thinking about shit that he sent you where I was like, oh, man. <laughs> How do you fucking remember all balls this? Balls on this fuck. Really? How do you remember? It's so crazy. Remember, like when I, uh, like the other day when, uh, when we were looking up the one thing, and I'm yeah, like, yeah, and you I, remember that one line? That I remember exactly. Yeah, it was something. Uh, we thought we got access to my Gmail from like ten years ago, eleven years ago. It's much longer than that. Twelve years ago. Much, dude. You changed <laughs> a long time it, ago. It was, oh, Fifteen years ago, because you oh, changed, it, I when changed it when I got married. Yeah, and he like remembered exact sentences from emails that this guy wrote me. My memory is. When it comes to like dudes, you know, taking a run at the love of your life, like steel trap, dude, steel trap memory. I remember everything. And then, Impressive. well, the other thing we was your way old school ex whose wife made him block, uh -huh. like, like unfriend you. I was, I told you're like, you know, like, yeah, he was really nice about it. I'm like, I know he said this yeah, in the message and you were like, that doesn't sound right. I'm like, no, no, no. That's exactly and what he said. Sure enough. He said, it was. I was like, he said, he said it. I don't know why she makes her insecure. It must be your, it must be your pretty face. And then she's like, I don't remember that. Went and looked it up for verbatim. <laughs> that was literally like a 15 year old message. I remembered it. Yeah, exactly. Him. I like, uh, yeah, he's great. He called and asked for my permission to be involved in the television show. And then I pretended yeah. to throw him in a fire. Yeah. And then we all went and took shots afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. And then the fucking crew made me leave and leave you wasted at the hotel having a conversation on the couch drunk with your ex-boyfriend. I was like, are you guys fucking serious? You're going to just drag me out? They're like, yeah, you know, don't worry about it. Like everybody else, they're all going to stay here at the hotel and you're going to go to this fucking motel over here. I was like. I don't remember that. Yeah, because you guys all stayed at the Hard, walk, uh, hard Rock yeah. the night of the, yeah, I, they took me out of there. Maybe they were like actually trying to get you to have a real genuine moment for once in the entire show. No, they would never... I, you don't think? I have too much self control, dude. Like on, like I'm no, saying, like know, they weren't gonna but get like, it. I know they weren't gonna get it, but maybe that's what they were trying to do. No, because the show we were completely done filming. Like it was like we were done filming, and then we all hung out for like we were all at the bar. No, then, I mean so, like, like the next day when they got us like reunited on camera. What was that? So okay, so was that the dinner scene after that? Yes, I think it was on top of the the boat. Thing, yeah. The, See? I, I Look at that memory. Yeah, no, that's exactly what it was. But I, dude, I remember when we filmed that scene. I remember being so like in this. I'm like, we are fucking killing this right now. Mm -hmm. Like I remember, uh, like just knowing that you and I together were completely yeah. pulling this off. Like, we like did flawless. So good. It was, it was super fun. It was really fun. It we're was pretty good I, actors. We are phenomenal. Actors. I was pretty proud of us. We did. So that was what I'm saying is like that one, because that was like by that day, they had been telling us over and over. They're like, you guys are, they kept saying, you guys are fucking stars, man. They're like, you guys are stars. And after that one, I like, I knew we killed that scene. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, dude, was the, that before or after when they actually told you to tone it down? Like, after, like, oh, when I said I put you in the dirt? Yeah. Oh, that was way after that, dude. <laughs> okay. That was, like the second day? That day. I don't remember the order of the days at all. I do. So the first day. We, we got married on a reality show. Oh, in yeah. case, in case By the way, you haven't caught up to speed on that yet. Yeah. 
we got married on a reality show. We had been together for a year and a half and the show was like, surprise, you're getting married in seven days or you have to decide at the altar to not go through with it. So the days went, first scene was in our house, which was super bizarre. Mm -hmm. She came in and then she told us the story. We were like on the couch. On the couch. They, they were trying to pour booze down our throat. They like literally would have been like, you know what we need? We need a lot of cocaine and as much liquor as possible. They would have they just would have brought like, it to us. Like there was like no, there's nothing you could have asked for that was going to lead to better footage TV that they would not have crazy. provided. Yeah. We did not obviously do cocaine, but could have. There was a lot of alcohol involved. There's a lot of alcohol. That's why I think about that is because that first scene, they were like trying to get a strong. I was, I remember. They literally had a bottle of wine on hand at every second for me. I Regardless of time of day. Oh, yeah. Or how, like sit down and drink oh here you go mm -hmm. I'm like oh thanks i love this i took so much adderall that week it was ludicrous just because like i was so nervous the first day that i was like maybe i'll just take it out you know it's like fucking yeah 16 years ago and they were long filming days exactly too. that and i just didn't like what i didn't understand was once you start once i said you can't stop yeah. because it's like all right this is really because i was really nervous the first scene it's like this huge fucking production. Yeah, there's like three cameras and boom mics and like there were 15 people yeah. in the room on on crew. There were a minimum of 20 Lights, people, like, like for real 20 you're people mic'd crew. Up. It was nuts. Yeah, cuz yeah. we and we had never done it before, right? Like, you know, obviously after that, that was like the first day of what ended up being like I mean, we're like vets having done that now. Yeah. You know, like cuz we did two shows, whatever. Well, like when we like um Went to convention. You know, they always want to get footage of people. And well, and we did the MLF show, too. Right. No, but I'm yeah. talking about, like, they're like, all right, we're going to film this. I'm like, all right, mic me up. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just, like, used to it now. He's like, I need to go. I'm like, yeah, through my shirt. I know. <laughs> like, yeah, it's yeah, okay. Yeah. Just yeah. hook it on there. <laughs> yeah, dude. I've done this a million times. Yeah. I, like, uh, day before yesterday when uh, when Chris from Bigger, Stronger, Faster came over and they did yeah. the interview. Like, yeah, they were like, okay, so here's. I'm like, I know the deal, dude. Yeah. But. Uh, Warren Mike Packs. But, a yeah. A lot. <laughs> first day was I was just super nervous. Was, yeah. And so I took we an no Adderall. We had no idea what to expect either. Yeah. And that back then, like, back then, I, I don't know. We, I took a, we took a lot more Adderall then, you know, like it was like, I don't know, it was 16 years. Anyway, but once I took one, I did not realize. Once you popped the, popped that the seal. Now it's yeah. like, okay, so whatever. And then that day went until like, I was, I was doing, I was doing, um, OTFs and, and, and interviews until 2 a.m. It was such a long day. And well, then, they were all long days. It and, was crazy. All the hours were nuts. Yep. And then we would start again at like 8.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. Like, so I had to be With mimosas. Up, I'd be <laughs> Ready up to go. And like showering at 7. Mm -hmm. And then up till 2, 2.30 again. But the only, but once I had started, I'm like, I'm done. Now the next day, I'm like, oh my God. So I have to take another one. And then I couldn't sleep. And we filmed for seven days or six. Yeah, I think six. But I couldn't. And then it culminates with our wedding, like yeah. our actual wedding. Dude. And we're just train wrecked if by you, that day. Oh my God, dude. If you ever watch the episode, when we're doing the wedding, that is without a shred of doubt the, the most Adderall I have ever consumed. When your face a, was stuck like this. In a day. I like I, do it. it was like, and my emotions were so out of whack, dude. It was like, uh, like I remember being up there and just being like, like I was, I was a hair trigger from crying, not because we were getting married, yeah. but just because like, yeah, I had probably slept three hours in like, cause I just like, I just couldn't sleep. And then it was like, okay, we got to do this again. It was, and it was just one of those things where like, that's how people get on these like for real benders. Like if you have like some kind of life where once you start that, you can't stop. Like yeah. I can understand how people, cause that, and then I remember right after we were done, like the, we had our wedding night. And I, we were up super late. You were like, let's go for a walk. It's like 5.30. And I'm like, a walk? <laughs> because she wanted to go on a walk around downtown San Diego. She's she used to block. always use sex to get me to do the weirdest fucking shit <laughs> To go then. on a walk or a bike ride. God. I like to be outside and move my body. And I like me. to fuck. So it was like, oh. it, so it was always like, she knew that she's like, okay, yeah, we could do this. And then we'll go do this. Or, I always want to go Or we'll go do adventure. this. And then we could do this. And so I, I, I can't even tell you how many fucking bizarre, like, late night walks that I went on because 
you know, it was a give and take. Now I've gotten her addicted to the sex part. So it's like, you know. I, we just can't go on walks for 12 hours because we have children that are sleeping. Otherwise, I would make you go on walks. Mm -hmm. I made you go eat outside lunch with me at the hotel. Yeah, but I like doing that. That's a lot different than here. We're naked in bed. Why don't we stop what we're doing and go on a walk I around you go downtown on a walk San Diego with me in five. Georgetown? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we, we started banging at like 3 p.m. Yeah. Then we went on a walk at like 6. Okay. It was like, that was reasonable. Like, we should probably take a break. Uh, anyway, so, but yeah, like, that was. The only, yeah, by the time we got to the actual wedding, I was so exhausted, mm -hmm. so just drained. The only thing I knew for certain was that, like, marrying you was a good idea. And oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, that was the only thing that I was clear and confident in. Like, the rest of it, I was like, I don't know what's going on, whatever. But, but we had decided that together anyway like for sure we, but yeah. it's so it's so crazy because i feel like most people in that situation with that level of sleep deprivation and like emotional craziness and the the fact that we went from not being engaged to yeah you all want to be on a reality show you're gonna get married in a week and it was just so clear we didn't know and before simple. we knew before that yeah. that's what it was they almost decast us on the show because we because we didn't have an accidentally no, no 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 because they because i revealed that I knew what the show was. Remember, because mm. we had found it, they had it listed as the wedding project. Mm -hmm. And so we figured out what it was. And then so they, oh, they, they were casting crew for it or something. It was, I don't remember, but then we figured out that that yeah. was it. And so we knew that the plot of the show was seven days, you're gonna get married. And so when they told us they're all, it's you guys, your lives are never gonna be the same. You guys are in the pilot. I was like, let's go. I was like, you want us to get, you want us to get married on TV? Let's do it. And so they figured out that we knew what I the show was. about that, shocker. And then they were like, uh, they're like, yeah, so it's probably you. And I didn't even put it together until later. Did but they say? This, they... The reason why, I'm, I'm telling you, the reason why they still did us, because they thought the spontaneity was like critical, I guarantee is because they all thought that I was in for sure and you were the one who might not go through with it. Yeah. And so like, and so they're, they're like, like. We might get something juicy They're like, here. who gives a shit if he says he's in? We already know he's in, you know? Yeah. Because that's the way we played it. it was like, uh, oh, she has abandonment issues. Mm -hmm. She doesn't know, you yeah. know, whatever. But like, um, yeah, I mean, the reason I knew for 100% sure that there was, I mean, I knew there was no fuck. I mean, we had talked, we were going to get married anyway. But like, uh, I remember it was like, it was, okay, so let's say I, we got married on Tuesday. So I think it was like, I think it was two days before that where it was like, four in the morning, three in the morning, and I mm -hmm. couldn't sleep. And they had not let us speak to each other they took away by our ourselves. Phones. Yeah. We'd had no conversations with each other except on camera. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, this is not going to work. Like I need to be able to talk to Gabriel and see what we're doing. So I snuck out, you know, I got a handler and I snuck out. We had babysitters, like straight up babysitters yeah. who slept in the rooms with us. Yep. I called a cab and I went to the, like the front desk of the motel, called the cab. They took me over to her house or my house that she was in alone and I went upstairs. Yeah, we switched off. Like I was in a hotel a couple nights and you were in a hotel yeah, a couple nights. The hotel sucked. Anyways, but like so I I got the hard rock the night before our wedding. Yeah, with, I definitely I did not. I forget her name. Like what who was my what was my handler's name? I can't remember. I cannot remember the name of the person that I spent the last night before I got married with. I, I wasn't with my friends. Mine. It was I, me and her. I can picture her. I can picture I can my see handler her face exactly. exactly. I can see both of them. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like but like, such an asshole. but yeah, like I, so I go over there and I woke Gamriel up, <laughs> like to be like, this is like the most important thing record, ever. For the record, I do not like being woken up. But like, at all. think about the situation we're in. We're like, there's a, there's a fucking wedding in 48 hours. Okay, like, of course we had agreed. You know, we like knew what this was and mm -hmm. we were gonna get married. But a lot of shits happened in the last few days, like. And honestly, the purpose that I went over there with was because I thought they had been fucking with us so much that I thought there was a possibility that there would be some kind of financial incentive if we didn't do it. You know, like it was like, you guys can either get married or, or, or one of you can have, you know, if you don't do it, one of you gets 50 grand or some shit. Like, I just didn't know. So I went over the there. The original post that we found it from said $100,000 in cash and prizes. Exactly. In hindsight, it's the wedding, yeah. which was like probably over a hundred grand with everything that they spent. Sure. It was insane. Yeah. So go ahead. So I went there to establish between the two of us what the cash number was that we would, that we would take. Like, it was like, okay, there's like Gabrielle, if there's this much money, 
then you know I'm like just take. And we it. have to take the money. Yeah, right? I'm, like, I'm like take it, and then we'll just go to Vegas and get married. Like that was that was yeah. my thing. I was like just take the money, and we'll go to Vegas, and we'll keep fucking forty five grand or whatever. And she literally was like, no. <laughs> and I was like, what if it's like a hundred k? She's like, no. Mm-mm. I want this. That's exactly I'm in what it she's, now. She's like, I want this now. And I was like, all right. You know. Luckily, that didn't happen. There was no financial incentive, but um. Yeah. Yeah. But they made it. <laughs> They held her in. Oh my god! Like they did the, you oh, know, the real, just reality show. That's why I, I can't, can't watch reality shows. Into my microphone at that moment, they locked me in the limo for probably an hour. It felt Dude. like forever. Wearing a wedding dress that is like all huge and poofy and like has metal on your rib cage, and I'm mic'd up, and I'm so pissed. They will not let me out of the car. They did wanted you him know? sweating up. I didn't know what was happening. You didn't know mm-hmm. that they were playing the music and pretending like no, you had not come. I had come? no idea. But they wanted him sweating up on up at the altar. And I'm just sitting there knowing that I'm mic'd up and that they're listening to me because my mic's on, screaming into my mic. I'm like, let me out of the fucking limo. Yeah. And 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 I remember because like by the wedding, everything was completely fake. Like they just they figured out early on because we're like, dude, we're not gonna fight, man. Yeah. There's nothing you can do that's gonna get us to fight. We're not gonna fight, you know. We haven't we still haven't fought. Fucking 15 and a half years later. We had one fight. We don't fight. Well, we can tell that story another day. One of a, one of us had a fight. <laughs> one uh, of us was asleep. Yeah. One of us was sleeping. The other one was blacked out drunk. But uh, yeah. So, I mean, dude, if we don't fight, if we don't get in a fight when her ex-boyfriend's all, let me see them titties. What do you think they're going to fucking do on a reality show that's going to yeah. get us to fight? Like, give me a break. So. Um, I have two minutes until I have to go, by the way. So anyway. So they, they knew, like, we were all in on it together. So they told me, they were like, okay, they're going to play the music as if, you know, like, so she's not going to come, right? Like, make it look like she's no showing. Make it look like she's no showing. They warned me because they knew, they're like, this would actually be fucked up if we made him think, you know, so like, we were in on it together. But the thing that was different about that moment was whole our whole entire family was there. Like, my, our, everyone was there, mm. our fa- friends, family, whatever. And I, and, like so I'm just standing there they play the here comes the and she just doesn't come and then they have like the producers run out as if she's really like deciding whether or not she's gonna go where's Gabby and at that point I was I was hostage I was pissed I was like okay enough dude like fucking enough and then finally she comes out we do the wedding which was real it's over and they're like they're all let's do it it again And they made us do the entire ceremony again. I I can twice. Gar- I can guarantee. I had to walk you, down the aisle three times. Now do it mad. Now do it happy. Now do it this. But the ceremony they made us do that again. Yeah. And I remember I was. But like, they let us have the first one, which was nice. No, no, I know. But I'm saying the second one. I guarantee they did not get one usable clip from that. Yeah. Like, cause I was that I you was were actually so mad. pissed. I was like, dude. Dude, our friends and family had an open bar for like six hours. Then they made them sit there for five. You know, like they were it's just endless. Yeah. Like that's why I was pissed. I'm like. Can you fucking release Jesse our people? Jesse does not like to put other people out. And to him, that was the worst thing they could have possibly done to it, him. Like, I, I would have been mortified. Even though I know people love weddings. Like, if we threw ourselves a big wedding, I would be like, fuck. Like, I don't like making a fuss over myself ever. I don't. How many birthday parties have I ever thrown myself? None. None. I don't do that shit. Like, I don't like, I don't like making people feel like they have to come to something because it's, you know, oh, it's the Jesse show. I mean, that probably sounds weird for a person who fucking it's the sits. Jesse show. Yeah. A person that like puts on, you know, like I have an actual Listen show. Listen to my podcast. Yeah. But Sorry. people can choose to watch it or not. It's not like, hey, hey, you're my friend, right? Yeah. Are you my friend? Because we're doing this thing and you have to spend money to come to it and you have to put it. Like, I just don't do that shit. I have to leave in a minute now. No, you don't. I do. No, you don't. I do. Who are you going to text for real? What are you going to do? Who are you talking to? Thanks for hanging out, you guys. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and you'll know next time me and my beautiful wife put out more episodes of Play With Matches.